Hi friends, this is Pastor Joe at Embury United Methodist Church. Today I want to read for you one of my favorite books. It's called The Runaway Bunny by Margaret Wise Brown. Pictures by Clement Hurd. Now while I'm reading, I want you to look for the little bunny, okay? Once, there was a little bunny who wanted to run away. So he said to his mother, I'm running away from you. Well, if you run away, said his mother, I will run after you, for you are my little bunny. If you run after me, said the bunny, I will become a fish in a trout stream, and I will swim away from you. If you become a fish in a trout stream, said his mother, I will become a fisherman, and I will fish for you. Do you see the little bunny? You become a fisherman, said the little bunny. I will become a rock on the mountain high above you. <laughs> if you become a rock on the mountain high above me, said his mother, I will be a mountain climber and I will climb to where you are. Where is that little bunny? Where did that little bunny go? Can you find him? His mother did. If you become a mountain climber, said the little bunny, I will be a crocus in a hidden garden. If you become a crocus in a hidden garden, said his mother, I will be a gardener and I will find you. Can you find the little bunny? This one's hard. You gotta look close. If you're a gardener and find me, said the little bunny, I'll be a bird and fly away from you. If you become a bird and fly away from me, said the mother, I will be a tree that you come home to. Doesn't that little bunny look funny with those great big old ears? You become a tree, said the little bunny. I'll become a little sailboat and I will sail away from you. If you become a sailboat and sail away from me, said his mother, I will become the wind and blow you where I want you to go. If you become the wind and blow me, said the little bunny, I will join a circus and fly away on a flying trapeze. If you go flying on a flying trapeze, said his mother, I will be a tightrope walker and I will walk across the air to you. Pretty amazing, huh? If you become a tightrope walker and walk across the air, said the bunny, I'll become 
a little boy and run into a house. If you become a little boy and run into a house, said the mother bunny, I will become your mother and catch you in my arms and hug you. Mm -mm. Good old mommy hugs. Shucks, said the little bunny. I might just as well stay where I am and be your little bunny. And so he did. Have a carrot, said the mother bunny. Isn't that a good book? I just love that story. One of the reasons that I like it so much is that it reminds me about how much God loves us. You know, but there's nowhere that we can go, nowhere in the whole wide world, even in outer space, that we can go that God isn't already there. God is there and God loves us. Listen to what the Bible tells us in Psalm 139 verses 1 through 12. I'm reading from the message version because, well, it's pretty easy for anybody to understand. God, investigate my life. Get all the facts firsthand. I'm an open book to you. Even from a distance, you know what I'm thinking. You know when I leave and when I get back, I am never out of your sight. You know everything I'm going to say before I start the first sentence. I look behind me, and you are there. Then up ahead, and you're there too. Your reassuring presence, coming and going. This is too much, too wonderful. I can't take it all in. Is there any place I can go to avoid your spirit, to be out of your sight? If I climb to the sky, you are there. If I go underground, you are there. If I flew on morning's wings to the far western horizon, you would find me in a minute. You'd already, you're already there waiting. Then I said to myself, oh, God even sees me in the dark. At night, I am immersed in the light. It's a fact. Darkness isn't dark to you. Night and day, darkness and light, they are all the same to you. Isn't that beautiful? See, there's nothing that we can go through Nothing that can happen to us. That no place where we can go where God is not there. Or God's love is not there. It may be hard for us to see God, but we can see what God is doing. And we can see God's love for us. We can see God's love for us and, and all the good things that God has created and the sun that warms our face and the wind that blows our hair and the birds that sing to us and the rabbits that hop across the ground. We can see God's love for us and the carrots that we eat and the good salads and, and the loving hands that prepare our meals for us. We can see God at work in the strangers who pass by us and give us a little smile, in our friends who call us and check on us, and the people who run errands for us when we can't run them ourselves. We can see God at work all around us. If you look, I think you can see God no matter where you go. And you can see signs that God really, really loves you. 
And that can be really comforting to us, especially when we find ourselves in a dark and scary place and in dark and scary times. It's a comfort to know that God is with us. God's love is with us. And God will always be there with us. Well, friends, I hope you take some time to, today to enjoy this beautiful world that God has created. Even if you have to look at it from, from a window or from your front porch, I hope that you will enjoy this day and all the blessings God has for you in this day. And for now, may peace and love and hope and joy be with you now and always.